Hey now, what's happening? Another electronics tutorial video here. And today, I wanted to talk a little bit about resistors. Because they're kind of important when it comes to electronics. They're very, very useful. So to start, I'm gonna show you a few resistors. We got one there, and hopefully we could just show up on the camera. One there, one there, one there. Let's see if I could zoom in on them. Yes. So there's the resistors, and I wanted to talk about uh, recognizing the value of the resistors based on their color code. So if you notice, um, these resistors have different colors on them, different bands of colors. And uh, the common ones are the ones I the ones I usually use are this, the four band ones, but you can get ones with five bands too, like this guy here has five bands on it. So, yes. So the basic way to tell resistor color codes is there's, there's actually charts and you could find them pretty much all over the internet if you just search on Google images under resistor color code chart. So let's talk about this guy here. So this one has four bands and the colors are brown, black, brown, and gold. And to make sure like this is oriented the right way when you're reading the color codes because the codes are read from left to right uh this guy here the gold band or whatever color this happens to be it could be gold could be silver it could not have any band there uh it could be brown depending on the resistor um but that has to be facing the right side and then let's get into the actual codes of the resistor now. So I'm going to just beep, take these. Now, have here in front of me a resistor color code chart. Don't mind the reflection of the light there. That's, that's kind of how it goes. So I'm just going to put this over here. So you see the first digit there. It's telling you numbers are from 0 to, well, they're from 0 to 9 on all of them. And that's the color they go in. It has, it has to be in that order because in order to get the, the right uh, number, the color is associated with the number. So let's go ahead and pick some, uh, let's see if we can figure out some of these values of these resistors I got kicking around here. So for this guy here, We can zoom in on it here or focus the camera. Anyway, uh, this resistor I have here, the bands, I'm just trying to do a better job of focusing, but it's picking up the screen. Anyway, uh, this guy here, uh, it's red, orange, black, and gold. So I'm just going to write that down here. So red, orange, black, and gold. So it's a four band, right? So according to this chart here, the first band, and like I said, it's red. So it's two. So let's write down two. The second band is orange, which is three. And then the third band is actually, or sorry, the uh, uh, the third band only applies to resistors that have five bands. So this one only has four, so we just don't we just ignore that one. And then we're interested in the multiplier. And um, so I said we have red, orange, black, and gold. So the orange here is our three, and then the black one here so on the multiplier is one 
and since it's black we just don't even include it well not that, that not that we don't include because it's black because <laughs> so it's it's just one so you know anything times one is is just itself so so that's just one so that multiplies to that so basically that's it and then our, our tolerance here uh, so like I said it's gold for this band here and if you check here the tolerance it's uh, gold is 5% so we have a, a 5% tolerance so that means and this is all in ohms by the way so that means that this resistor here that I'm holding is 23 ohms uh, but all resistors are not perfect and that's where the tolerance comes in uh, so with a 5%, basically what you would do to that, you come over here, take your calculator, and you would say 23 ohms was the value that we got off the chart. Multiplied that by 0.5%. So that means that this value, or this resistor, will have a value of 23 ohms plus or minus uh, one point five ohms so that means it could go from the low end so what we do now is go 23 minus uh, 1.15 that's where the minus comes from here so this resistor could be between 21 point we'll say eight we'll just do that uh, from 21.85 ohms to let's shuffle this over here and then we go change this to plus now on the calculator uh, 24.15 ohms so that's our resistor there and then to confirm that we'll just get the multimeter here and we'll set it to the 200 range Give me a second. All right, so I'll put one lead here on one side and then the other one on the other side here. And we get 22, yeah, between, wait for it to stable out here. So 21.9-ish uh, ohms, which is in our range here. So, yay, it works. And um, <clears throat> there's also different uh, sizes of resistor. Uh, this, for example, this resistor here, along with other ones that I have playing around, like these guys here, you'll notice they're all the same size. And the size is based on the uh, wattage rating. So these resistors here, are all uh, a quarter watt resistors. And I got one slightly fatter one here. You'll notice that that one's a little bit bigger. This guy is actually a half watt. I don't use those too often. So, but while that one's here, let's figure out the value of, of him. So if I line it up again, I have my gold on the left, or on the right, sorry. I'm looking at this backwards. And then the colors here, so if we can't really see them, and it has rolls off the page, so we can't really see them, we got brown, black, red, and gold. So those are the colors we got for that resistor. So if we go back to our chart, Back to our chart here, we have brown, which is one. We have black, which is zero. And we have the third value here is red. And you notice that here, the red multiplier is times 100. So as we take that value here, 
multiply it by 100. So that takes care of that. And then we have our gold here, uh, and which is still 5%. So that would be a multiplier of 5%. So if we multiply that out, 10 times 100 is 1,000. 1,000 ohms, or 1k ohm, you could write it as. Sorry, I was... Yeah, so 1,000 ohms or 1k ohm, but it's 5%. So, if you take 5% of 1,000, it's, it's 50. So, the value of this 1K ohm resistor could be between 950 ohms and 1,050 ohms. So, that's the value of that. And we'll quickly confirm that with the multimeter again. So I'll set this to the 200 range, or sorry, the 2000 range. <clears throat> and I'll take this resistor, put one lead there, and the other lead here. And we get 993 ohms, which is in our range. Alrighty, um, we'll test one more resistor. And the one we're going to test now, this guy here, actually has five bands on it. So we'll just write down the colors here first. So starting over here on the left side, we have yellow. And then we have orange, and then black, black, and brown. All right. So let's go ahead and get our chart out again here. So now for this one, we have to use the resistor here that has uh, five bands on it. So the first one I said was was yellow. Let's move that over. First one here was yellow, which is uh, four, and then orange, which is three, and then black, which is zero, and then so we got we got one two three one two three. And then the last one in here is our multiplier, which is black. So it's just one. So we just 430 multiplied by one is just 430. And then multiplied by our, um, our, our tolerance here. Uh, and then I said here, this one was brown. So we look here, brown is 1% or sorry. Yeah, yeah, 1%. So we have a 1% tolerance. So now, if we multiply that out, we just get 430 ohms times our tolerance, which is 1%. So our tolerance, so to our, this resistor will be 430 ohms plus or minus 4.3 ohms. And then to confirm that, or we'll say, we'll just do this calculation here first. Uh, so 430. Uh, I'll start minus 4.3 there is 425.7. So 425.7 and we'll just change this to a plus here now to 434.3. 434.3. So our resistor value should be within that range there. So just get the multimeter out here again. We'll set it to the 2000 mark because that's the next available scale. 200 is not going to be enough. So we'll just put the one lead on one side of this resistor here and the other lead on the other side. 
and we get 430 ohms, which is in our range here. Alrighty. All right, thanks for watching this video. If you guys have any questions, um, I have a link to uh, my uh, Facebook uh, page. So, so if you guys want to follow me on Facebook, it's just uh, look me up on Facebook. It's Power Trace Electronics. Oops, spell power down. Power Trace Electronics on Facebook. All right, thanks for watching this video.